the Greek future middle indicative is just as easy as the Greek future active indicative. Uh, like the uh, future active, it's still going to be a progressive or simple action. So we can translate it either as I will, so I will uh, cease, or I will be ceasing. And to form it, we're going to use our either our present stem plus sigma plus the same endings as you used for the present. Remember, we call these the primary endings. Or another way to look at it is the second principal part, because that second principal part is sometimes a little more complex than just adding a sigma to the present stem. And those endings. Now, uh, let me warn you, uh, notice here I just say it's the middle indicative. That's because it's not the same as the future passive. The future passive is a completely different form. You'll learn that later. So on to an example. So remember we're going to take our second principal part, or our stem plus s, and we're going to add our primary endings. So Oh my, a, eti, omatha, este, ontai. So let's take a look at uh, poyo. The second principal part is actually poyes. So we're going to add on to that poyesomai. So we've got our omai oh ending. Poyese, poyesetai. Poye somatha, poye seste, poye sontai. Notice the accent is still recessive. But it looks very much like a present tense because they're the same endings, it's just the stem that's different.